I mean, I like our experience. You know, last year we were so young at, at many, many positions, and this year we got so many guys back, including a punter and a kicker, which is people on don't ask, that, that's that's a very two important positions. Um, so we got a lot of experience back, quarterbacks back, a bunch of running backs back, a couple linemen, almost the whole defense is, is returned. So. You know, just take it one day at a time and try to get a little bit better every day and try to do things a little bit sharper and be men it's a lot of mental stuff you know right now it's just mentally not make if we don't make mental mistakes you know that's huge got yeah uh, we have a lot of guys returning on defense which is really good we got Gino Gino Placini always great guy stops plays like a like a maniac you know Mac knocking people over every single play we got Rocco Will Beers Casey Karkoff Matt Keeley list goes on we're all quick to the ball and all of us within like the first five seconds of the play there's at least six seven guys on the ball already waiting to tackle the guy so that's fun coming off of those trips to camp and your thoughts on just your guys' motivation to complete the job oh you know i mean we lost last two years so it feels absolutely terrible so we're just going to try to get back there and get it done how much does it push you guys? A lot. It's the only thing that pushes us, I would say. So, um, the chemistry that we bonded together. Jake, every day, we'd always say and I, a couple other people. We'd come out, run routes, come back here after workouts, and do seven on seven. Our defense, we have nine returners, and it's ready. We're looking good. I mean, we have a lot of room for improvement. Working hard every day, and just looking forward to the season. Well, one thing that's going to be a little different seeing the turf on the way in i mean yeah. what do you make of that as uh, as one of the backs that can maybe <laughs> let loose on the turf a little bit yeah it's good we don't have to walk down walk back down here every day the problem was with uh like the last four or five years we never hosted a home playoff game we had to host when you get to november and this grass gets wet it never dries and it's slippery and um so our practice we could never practice and get good footing every place someone would fall down so i do like grass now like september and october but when we the whole month of november we're trying to practice we we have nowhere to practice and we have to go to manor they're they're fantastic they let us practice up there we've gone different places to practice but uh really i'm excited for you know when the playoffs start and we have great practices on good footing because all the playoff games are on turf you know after after the you're done hosting but we haven't been able to host playoff games on our turf because it gets wet and muddy and hopefully we can be a little quicker as a team but the downside is all the teams hate playing us at home because they hate playing on grass field but it's where we live on the grass field so but i'm excited and we'll be able to host home games same with boys soccer and girls soccer you know that's what is, is exciting too you know my daughters both played soccer and we've always had to come back here and there's no bleachers and now they're going to be able to have soccer games up front, which is really cool for our community.